Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Tales and Tactics, an auto battler tactics roguelike that I'm extremely excited to be checking out the demo for here today as part of the Steam Next Fest. This game is made by Table 9 Studio, who is responsible for the Slay the Spire Downfall mod, which is not only my favorite mod of Slay the Spire, but maybe my favorite mod of any game that I've ever played. It's truly, truly fantastic. So I'm excited to pop into this one and see what it's all about. I've done the tutorial already, because as I suspected, it is very much based on auto chess games, and thus, I kind of know already what I'm getting into with it, and I'll explain the basics of auto chess style games, like a Teamfight Tactics, Dota Underlords, uh, auto chess, just, I'll explain that as we go. So let's pop on in with Syngrim Bone Pedal. Perks can be unlocked in the mastery. Okay, so in we go. So I believe there's a bunch of different characters and we unlock new options and stuff as we go on, but it is a demo, so keep that in mind early on, all of that jazz. You awake one morning to find a letter sealed with the mark of the Daya. Every year, the Daya hosts a grand tournament, a ruthless competition with civilians from all over the country that battle for honor of, for the honor of challenging the Daya champions. Winning the Grand Tournament is the dream of every young caller looking for fame or glory. With a gleam in your eye and a thirst for adventure, you set off on your quest. What tale will the bards tell of your journey? Did you triumph over the Daya with clever planning and tactics? Or will you feel the sting of defeat and hope for better luck next year? Now tell us about yourself. My name's Syngrim, Syngrim Bold Petal, but everyone calls me Sing. I've been a student of the Arcane ever since I remember. Graduated top of my class, went from being a student to a professor. Why I want to enroll in the Grand Tournament? Well, I thought it might be a chance to do something different. One thing to read all about the wonders of the world, but something else to see them for yourself. I thought it'd be a good way to meet new people. Maybe even that special someone. So I guess, like, for whatever character you pick, there's going to be a little different thing there. So in we go. Travel, combat, tale, the goblin goofballs. All right, here. So we got... We got ourselves the enemies we kind of know what they are all about they have no skill they have no special abilities they are just two goblins so it is going to be an auto battler meaning we pick our team we pick our loadout we pick what items they have we pick their positions their synergies everything but after that we just say go and hope that it is going to be good enough hope we planned well enough uh, so down here we have our shop. You can see this is the cost. This costs one. We have two. So we can theoretically buy two units. We have an inventory where we might, you know, we'll be able to pick up items and stuff to put on units. We can combine items to make better ones. We can combine units to make stronger versions of those units. Just all of that jazz is going to be in here as well. Is, is there a lock? That wasn't in the tutorial, whether or not there was a lock. I don't know if there is. There are also set bonuses. You can see right here these little symbols. Dragon, I think this is dragon, and yeah, Scrapper it says. This is also a dragon. If you get a lot of one trait on your team, you're going to get a big benefit as well. So army size, is it really just one? We'll see. We'll grab Mickey. Pop you in here. Yellow hex here indicates that you have room for another unit. So here's the thing. We could either get Mickey and try and go for on our way towards getting a two-star Mickey, which is a stronger one, or we could get Rhyme, which we can put on the board. Yeah, we can. We cannot. The exclamation. Okay. Overflow. That's what I thought. I was going to say. So you have an ability, taunt the nearest foe for five seconds. The next three times she's attacked, she heals 5% of her max health and instantly attacks back. All right. Again, whether or not we can lock, I feel like we can't. Otherwise, it would have told me somewhere in that demo that I did. So, All right. So we just let it play out naturally here. It should be a pretty straightforward, easy fight, I would imagine. So you see the blue right here? <laughs> the music. The blue is basically, after we attack a certain amount of times, we'll be able to cast that ability. The ability being the taunt and shield thing. Recap, we don't really need to worry about that right now. Two star points. Star points being the money. Oh, that's right. And we don't need to lock, actually, because the shop 
actually doesn't refresh naturally. You have to force refresh it. So I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. We have room for another spot. Rhyme. Rhyme flings an icicle at its target, dealing 120 spell damage and stunning them for a second. The icicle also stuns foes directly behind. So you can see right here, there's three different kind of like unit types. This is just a quality of life thing that's not in other games like this, where you can't really tell if something is... Is this supposed to be a tank? Is this supposed to be melee? Is this supposed to be magic? This kind of tells you. So right here, Vanguard means it's kind of a tank. This means it's kind of a magician. And I don't see the uh, the other one. Lightwing, Fey, Mage, Beast Dweller, Orc Engineer, Elemental Healer. So we have the Dragon Synergy now. Which is two dragons gives us this ability. Four would give us this one. When a dragon first casts, they summon a fire-breathing worm that fr fly fries. I mean, hell, actually both. Flies across the battle battlefield, doing 150 to 300 spell damage based on the tier to enemies it strikes. So we got that ability going as well. I'm surprised this is not a dragon, but I guess it's just because it's a fey. Could we perhaps get lucky and... How could I line it up so I could pierce? Because you're, you're ranged, you're not ranged. I don't know that we're going to get lucky and be able to pierce. One, two, one, two, three. Th this might work. We might be able to do it. We want you to come here and you to go right here. Well, I mean, hey, that's not what I planned, but that works too. A <laughs> also, we absolutely wrecked them before they could do anything. So, the heart's here. I mean, it shows right here. Whenever you lose a combat, you lose 2 HP. If you win, you gain a heart. Bosses, if you lose on a boss fight, I believe it is an instant death. Okay. Alright, we have an extra slot. But we also don't have... There's no, like, synergies that we can see here. I'm gonna roll, see what we can find. Button. Button would give us the Shaman Synergy. 40% of the Shaman's de uh, dealt spell damage charges up a Shaman Totem. When it has 100 charge, it heals an ally. I'll tell you what. Yeah. We'll do that. Also, to just want to double check. Okay, good. You cannot double up by putting the same unit with the same uh, set bonuses up here. Like, this does not count for a Dragon and a Shaman again. We need unique ones. So, Button is also a Vanguard. So, also kind of more of a tank. Button will spawn five spores that seek out random enemies, briefly stunning them, doing 60% spell damage, and reducing their max health by the same. It's a little bit less of a tank, theoretically, than, uh, than Mickey. Okay, I think we're good here. Rewards two Pale Hearts. I don't know what that'll be. Leader War Banner. This wearer becomes the leader in addition to its other traits. Leader gains 50% extra max health. 3 mana regen. 30% attack speed. Gotcha. Same deal. Let's try and... Um, let's try and bait him out so we can get a piercing thing going here. One two one two. I don't. I don't know if I if I'll get him to do that or not. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. It's more just I'm trying to see if we can manipulate things. Nah, we didn't get it right. It's fine. What? <laughs> that first dragon was trash. I feel like my team is a little bit disgusting right now. Let's see the damage. It's mostly Mickey. Interestingly enough. I feel like as we go on, we're going to actually see our passives be more relevant. Right now, we're just absurd. Okay. Hexed City. This newbie skipped the tutorial and insists on not using units that share traits. 
So the enemies can have combined traits as well. Oh my lord. Okay, um, we have a free reroll if we want. Kind of want to find something with a synergy. I do want button. Is there a... Um... I don't see anything that implies there is interest. So we could bring in another. Is there... Here's the thing. Even though we don't get the synergy, it's kind of valuable to bring in another another one of our units, because whenever a dragon, so theoretically if I put down you, if I'm not getting another set bonus anyways, Teak! Would you look at that? If we're not getting another set bonus anyways, we sort of might as well, right? So hopefully you come down here, you come down there. We prefer you to be slightly, there we go. So yeah, there we go. See, that's what I was saying. If we can't get another set bonus, we might as well get the double trouble. And things are definitely a little bit scarier now. That was a little tight. Pale hearts are lost before normal hearts, but can't be regained. Gotcha. Okay, so healing done. Damage mitigation healing. 450 from the dragon traits. That was definitely a lot closer. Like, way scarier. Uh, Roadtail Fount of Potion. Stumble upon a potion dispensing machine. Let me look first. Okay, we'll get you. We get a tier two. Another tier two. We still have... We actually don't have room for another unit slot. Let's do this then, first. The sound of gurgling draws your attention to a small stand of various liquids. Several containers of colorful concoctions line a table, along with bottles and flasks of various shapes and sizes. The sign hanging from the dispensers reads, Take a drink to quench your thirst. Overindulgence can be a curse. Each curse adds a 5% chance for a unit in the store to become chained... Chains on a unit can be broken by spending a heart. So a 10% chance to make enemies cost money. Whenever you... Wait. Whenever you purchase a cursed unit in the store, gain a fire potion. In combat runes, gain the hex modifier shrine in a random hex that grants a unit extra mana regen. One potion slot. With a vine potion, drop it on an enemy to slow it for the combat. Ooh, th this is all, like... These are all really interesting choices. I'm gonna go for the Disenchant Shrine. You can feel a great power coming from the sign. The kind of power that you can harness, performing an ancient ritual, an arcane ritual. You draw the magical energies infused with the sign, causing the lights of the runes to fade into nothing. Okay, so we have that Shrine's Blessing. It's like an actual, legit kind of artifact or passive. Unlucky lass. Okay, we might actually have to deal with something. Hasn't been able to find a good army yet and is stuck with just one active trait. And we'll travel there first. We don't have any more army uh any more army slots. So your mushroom shaman, dragon shaman. So I could roll and try and find a new synergy. A guy can dream. Do I take another one? I guess. S still nothing here that gives us a new synergy. So I don't think I'm going to go for it. And rolling, spending two of my coins to roll here sounds stupid. The vault is not unlocked yet. Look it for it in post-game unlock menu. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you're going to get extra mana regen. Are you tier 2? Yeah, you're tier 2, tier 2. That's the silver there. Okay, that was filthy. Take 10 less damage from all sources. When any tank lives, all allies gain mana regen. Dang.
Heart's still full. Dang, Mickey. Dang, Mickey. I don't know if we've ever gotten the shaman benefit. Oh, we got a sword item. We also hit level two, which gives us a choice of a passive, it looks like. Whenever one of your units finishes casting, it gains 10 mana. Increase your max hearts by one. Gain the special equipment favorite book, which grants bonus spell power that increases when the wearer casts. Sounds kind of fun. Can it be combined? It cannot. So, sword, it is a 20% attack damage up. Eh. Whenever the wearer casts, they gain two. This item gains two spell power permanently. Let's definitely get that going here. On you, 20% attack damage. Can be merged with another component item. So. I don't know. You have 60. You only have 51. So if anything, I'd pop it up on one of these front lines. Who attacks faster? Do I get to tell? Attack speed, 50. I... Okay. So how much... Wait. So it's 0.5 attacks per second? An attack... Is that... No. Okay. All right, whatever. Mystery component, unique equipment. Unique equipment, unique consumable, unique perk. I'll pop over here. Let's see if we can um, get another component to combine with that sword. That'll be good. You come to a secluded bazaar full of oddities and antiquities. A well-dressed man approaches you. Though the only facial feature you can make out is his impossibly white grin. We have the most wondrous wonders from across the Hexed Realm. Statues from the Golden Desert, enchanted gemstones from the Banal Caverns. And no goblin market taxes. Armor. So what's the uh, sword plus shield? 10 armor, 20% attack damage. The wearer can now crit. 20% crit chance up. Crit steal double damage and knock an enemy back. Mask, 20% health. When the wearer reaches half HP, they gain 50% bonus lifesteal for the rest of combat. But we also gain the curse. 30 spell power. Whenever the wearer does spell damage, they slow the afflicted, afflicted enemies. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get the mask. I'm going to pop that on you. An odd-looking someone draws your eye. The more you look at them, the less detail about them you can make out. They don't speak, and their face is hidden behind a somber mask. As you approach, however, they remove their mask to reveal a different mask, this time it, in a broad smile. After a few moments, you pick out a disguise, make your purchase, and quickly move to be literally anywhere else. All right. Wandering Wizard. Dragon and Scrapper. Enemy units have minus mana regen, fighter, circus performer. You give a little bit more experience, but a little bit less gold. Gold is used to buy items in a shop that I guess we haven't seen yet. Experience does help us just get like the actual levels. I'm going to go for this one just because I'd rather get some experience for, uh, for an actual level up here. Take my free roll. Hope for something. No synergies yet. Still. It is getting a little silly. It looks like perhaps... Well, no, we should be able to find... We should be able to find a scrapper. Or a mushroom, theoretically. All right, come on now. We are absolutely getting shop smacked. One more, but I'm upset. Ay, ay, ay. 
Yeah, we just can't find... Uh, if I can't find a synergy, a new synergy, I might as well leave another one of these so we get the extra dragon blasting across the board. Until that happens, we should just be doing that. Uh, so we get life steal. so I guess maybe we will throw the sword on you for now. I think this works fine. Do a little bit of a speed up if we need. So we're going to get the pierce... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my back line. My back line got jumped. That's not good. I actually think I'm going to get bodied here. Maybe? Nah. There's a good chance you're actually going to be fine. Oh, my lord. Come on, put on that shield. Okay, that was terrifying. Should I look at their abilities? Yes. Gee, I wonder who did all the work. Leaps in front of the furthest enemy. For the next five seconds, it does bonus spell damage. So this guy is kind of like an assassin. I mean, checks out. And they are also anti-spell. They had the, uh, the bug synergy. And he was the leader. So all in all, that, that makes sense. That was just, that was always going to be terrifying. And we came out of it not even losing our shields. Stumble upon a potentially cursed cache of weaponry. Okay, there we are. We can now finally get a new synergy, the Scrapper. Scrappers gain 10... Attack speed and their attack supply combo. Every six combo removes them and does a lot of... Or 10% of their max HP is spell damage. Okay. It's probably worth it, yeah, to go for that synergy instead, I'd say. Large basket of weapons, armor, and trinkets sits by the trail here. They must be abandoned, but something strange nearby indicates otherwise. A small note in front of the collection reads... Only take one from this humble store. Trouble will haunt you if you take more. Mana regen. 30 spell power. 20% health. Dealing spell damage melts foes, causing them to lose some of their max HP per second. Doesn't stack. Shrine's Blessing 2. Is this... Does it upgrade the one that I have, or does it give me a new one and I get two? One that's, like, a little bit good and one that's better. Hmm. This does seem good. Dealing spell damage? That's actually kind of decent with this. That's actually really decent with that. But do I care about spell power on you? Is this your spell power? Heals. That could be okay. It's a little bit silly. What's the mana regen combo? Two mana regen, 20% attack damage when an enemy dies, gain 40 mana. It's all right. I also don't like the idea of having a 20% chance of getting a cursed enemy already. So I'll grab this for now and we'll we'll see if it... Okay, it just upgrades this. Good to know. Registrar? Studious Goblin looks up from a large ledger, pushing his wire-rimmed glasses up. Name, race, occupation. The tournament council is not responsible for injury from burning, maiming, decapitation, petrification, polymorph, polytransformation, sign here. As you finish signing your name, a brilliant flash of light blinds you for a moment. Upgrade two unit store slots to now show uncommon units. Oh. Uncommon units now unlocked. Beautiful. A reptile fighter or a bug poisoner. When you can finally see you find yourself standing in some sort of shop, a goblin behind the counter looks familiar. Welcome to Albert's Bazaar of Curiosities. The find is definitely not looted equipment around. We have everything that you can need to take a look. Right, so take on the dia. And good luck. Judging by the look at you, you're going to need a lot of it. Very rude. Drop this on a friendly unit to remove... Ooh. Use this 
to remove two curse? I'm gonna say yes. Now that I know that exists, I would maybe go for a little bit more. Meat can be composed or combined with this every after every three seconds. The wearer's next attack does bonus spell damage, equal to four percent of the wearer's max. The wearer's max health to the target and the targets behind them. The wearer becomes a marksman in addition. Mmm. I'm going to buy the meat. And I am going to... I think I'm going to combine that. 20% health. 20% health. You have 1800 HP. I mean, you're pretty darn tanky. Drop this on an enemy unit to slow it for the combat. I don't know what slow does. I'm assuming it's a slow attack speed. It's the only thing that would really make sense. Drop this on a friendly unit to grant it 10 armor. It heals 2% of its maximum HP per second. I'll buy that and I'll have it around. So that's over here. Okay. Lane bully. So this is... I'm guessing this is... That's their captain or whatever. Uh, it turns into Cyclone Dash into the furthest enemy. Do 100 spell damage afterwards. Gales an extra attack part. Two. Eh. Neither of these are great. I gotta admit. Every six seconds in combat, tree folks gain max HP and attack damage up to three stacks. So they scale... We gain spell power. This is only... You've only cast once? Four, one, one... Eight, eight. Kind of leaning towards... Kind of leaning towards the right. Now let's go for the more money. And the shield. Sure. Okay. That's a tier three Mickey. Don't mind that. Don't mind that. What is your ability? Projects a frightening... Of, uh, okay. We got... Stunning target. Okay. You're, you're, you're a damage dealer. Sort of, more or less. I think this is good. I think this is already good. You can, you're going to dash to the furthest enemy, which... Is probably going to be you no matter what. Anybody do piercing? All allies who are able to attack the mofo will switch to it. Eat a tasty snack. I mean, this is tricky. It's already going to be tricky. But we have this tier 3 guy who is... Just going to be wrecking everything. And yeah, you're going to be the furthest enemy anyways. Right? Yes. Please cast one more ability. Please cast one more. Thank you. There's another upgrade on the book. Let him cast one more time. It would be cool. Aw. I still... This is still not a tier two. Still have not found a tier two of that. Unsurprisingly, Mickey is destroying... More surprisingly, the tier one rhyme is still doing quite a lot. All right, we got a free roll. Let's do it. What else we get? Stumpy is a scrapper instead. Grows into super stumpy, gaining bonus HP and armor. I could get you instead of... I mean, since I'm not invested in Grundy yet... And I know that the tree synergy is like a little bit more of like a stall growth thing. I mean, I could also try and eventually build up to the four scrapper, I guess. So I'll replace you for now. Holy crap, but it's just... They're all tanks, though. Tanks all the way down. Another stumpy... Champigno. Summons a mush turret, which copies his stats and loses 10% of its max HP per second. Its attacks deal bonus spell damage. What's the mushroom synergy? 
They gain 50 starting mana when they cast. When they cast, they gain 15 spell power. It ain't bad. I could have the mushroom one instead of instead of scrapper, but I don't know if I want it instead of scrapper. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna buy you and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit yet. I'll give you the armor, but I'm probably gonna regret it. We can't be all in on one unit. Booming laugh captures your attention. My fair young lady, you're joking. As you approach the practice table where the Jin Kyodini is gesticulating grandly. <laughs> the young lady they appear to be speaking to is an old giantess clutching to what appears to be a beautiful crafted tapestry. As you approach her wide glowing eyes, look your way. She points at you with a gnarled finger, then at her tapestry. Ah, here's someone who can puzzle out this plot. They beckon you over. My dear River believes the visual story is best, but I feel the verbal story is more efficient, so it's so finalized and formal in writing, don't you think? Jin conjures a thick tome into their arm and holds it out to you. Remember, whichever one you choose is legally binding. The tapestry is stunning. I'm more of a reader. Ah, uh, I feel like it's going to change something, and I don't know what. Going based on visuals... This one's fancy. There you have it, River. Our new friend has spoken. River rolls her large eyes at the pun and gathers up her work. As she turns to leave, she points two fingers at her eyes and then at you to say, I'll be watching. Though she smiles playfully as she does. River will remember you. Clapping their hands together, Kiyodini booms. Delightful, now repay your kind gesture. The Jin spreads their hands wide and gives several gifts. Okay. If your team has three or more magicians, they don't. Uh, you just gain 20% attack speed. It replaces the wearer's skill with mana battery, which grants mana to its teammates. Or tier two, a tier two Pangurban legend. I'll admit I'm curious. I don't know what that means exactly, but I want it. Legends have higher base stats and stronger skills than most units and cost one additional star point to buy, but they do not contribute to most other traits. So it's a, it's a very good one-off guy. I'll ditch the Shaman to get the Legend at this point. Ignited with Righteous Fury from a Divine Deity for 5 seconds, restoring 5% HP per second and then damaging nearby units. Cool. I got it. I can't. I can't read more at this point. I, I I get it. I get it. It ain't bad. It's well written. I just can't do more at this point. I'm tapped. I know. I understand the irony. All right. So let's check the abilities here. Master Trollgar. Master Trollgar dashes through its target, dealing its attack damage and briefly stunning it. Every third cast slams the ground, dealing spell damage to all foes within two hexes and knocking them into the air. You do what? Well, Protection Totem lives. Trollgar has plus 20 armor. When it dies, Trollgar loses 500 HP. So if I can, like, if I can kill those, that'd be lovely. Are you ranged? Why would you be? two tiles. I mean, you're gonna do it anyway, so I guess we'll have the mana here, and we'll just... I guess that'll just have to work. Alright, it's a boss. Let's give it a go. Hoping those long-range snipe things will help us out here. Uh-oh. Dashing through is not great for us. We are attacking the back line for some reason here, which I do like. Every third attack is an AoE. We're about to get bodied. Yep. But he got absolutely destroyed. Unsurprisingly. If I could just get Rhyme to Tier 2, for the love of God... It's just so tough to go for, like, hyper rules, you know? 
Gain a glove component. Your unit's equipped with a glove. Uh, wait. Or glove completed item. Have a 10% chance to attack twice. Gain a Dumble Gore and a Mage War Banner, which grants the mage, mage trait to one of your choice. In combat rooms, gain Blitz Shot. In the rearmost column, a unit place here gains infinite attack range and 100 attack speed for the first five seconds of combat. That sounds really good. I don't have any mage. If I had if I had a mage already, I would definitely go for this. I'll go for Blitz Shot. It's the most um, reliable. Okay. Travel and relax. For the love of God. I can't find one. Attacks foes for a duration. With bonus lifesteal. Oh! Finally. We'll get you. Maybe we're going to get an extra... Uh, Board slot. Raise your... Yep. That was my hope. Army size increase. That opens up a lot more options. Traveling to the Golden Desert. I'd say the logical play is probably bringing in my tier 2 that gives me the set bonus. Even though we're like... We're like all tanks. You are a problem... Would I rather get the three experience? I guess so. Healing the one lowest health ally for... We'll do that. An impatient monk. You have what? Attack speed, armor, immune to crowd control. Five times they're hit. Parry the next incoming basic attack, ignoring it. Interesting. Eh, it's not going to work. We'll give you the buff. Spread them out a bit. We want them to attack you mostly. That works fine. Got nine bucks. Like, I could roll. What, am I, what would I really do, though? What would rolling really get me? There's a chance that I could get Stumpy up to tier two. I don't think it's worth. Okay. But yeah, an attack speed increase means we'll be able to hopefully um, use our favorite book more. Let's see, we're up to seven. We already got two stacks there. We have the infinite range. We can be completely safe back here. Just keep sniping. Sniping and stacking. More spell power. We kind of like the fight going on long as well. It's like, it kind of works well in our favor that we have all these slow, tanky lads. It means, look how many um, stacks we get per fight now. Oh, that's going to be nice. That'll be nice. I do need another good damage dealer, though, for what it's worth. I guess, I guess that's your job. Stumpy not doing a ton, but that kind of just checks out. It's not a very surprising thing. Okay. Now things are curious. I could have mushroom instead of scrapper. Do I want mushroom instead of scrapper? When I get another slot, I think I'll go for that. But I, having the legend here makes me feel like it's a the tier two legend. Which, to be clear, I don't think is like legendary. It's just like it is just you should only have one of these. Is the whole thing? You come upon an odd signpost. An odd signpost. Slightly off the beaten path. Small house-like enclosure. Holding a variety of books. Interest to interest any adventure fill the shelves. Nine star points. Shrine's Blessing 3. Wow. What is it currently? So it would give them uh, attack damage and spell power, which is cool. Use this from the inventory to instantly level up. Ooh, waiting until we, like, 
get to level four and then doing that is really good though. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna steal books. I'm gonna steal books. Grab a few tomes out of the satchel. Those seeking knowledge you've kept from pursuing, hoarding such wisdom will be your undoing. Okay, flash fires. Let's see, three piercing fireballs. Piercing fireballs. Raises the sword of the sky, healing itself and the lowest health ally. I mean, again, it's kind of like a stall angle, which I don't hate for us. It, it sort of lets us farm a lot with uh, with Rhyme. Gourmand. What's demon? Can I look at demon from here? When all other demons die, the last demon standing becomes the demon lord, gaining 100% maximum health. We do need three, though, in order to do that. Uh, and who are our scrappers? You're our other scrapper, and you're... You would be giving us the tree folk buff. In theory. Mm, there's Dumbledore. That's who that is. Mm. Eats a snack, increasing its max HP and enchanting its next attack. I do kind of need a... Needs a strong word, but I kind of want a damage dealer. So we'll put you out. It doesn't really change anything right now. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. I'm going to use this as soon... I'm assuming it just fills up my level, so I'm going to use it when I hit level four. Okay, you're here to get that boost. You're here to get that boost. Corvid, excuse. Are you crow? Stabs do... Okay. Mm. Hex is target, transforming them to harm the sheep. Adjacent foe damage. It's target adjacent. I mean, it's not great for a build that has lots of melee range stuff. Okay, you're... Wait, you're ranged. You got a two-tile radius. Good. I kind of love him. Okay. You turn into a sheep. That's actually really bad for us. That really, really is bad for us. That made them get targeted back here. Uh-oh. Come on, gang. You are making me mad. Oof. That, uh, yeah, that, the sheep timing, not great for us. Not great for us. Roll first. What do we got? Grundy. Grab that. Button. I could take a damage and get a button. Am I ever using Grundy again? We could have four scrappers. So I think the answer is yes. Which puts you in a weird spot. Button in a weird spot. I think I'm going to say no, but I really shouldn't have rolled there. Okay, I'll take you. Another le like legend there would have been would be crazy. Unique equipment, unique units that can only be found here in this tale. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I'll admit, I, I want to go just because I want to see what the hell that means. Wander through the desert, you stumble upon a small tent, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. Stepping inside, you find yourself in a large tavern, somehow much bigger than the petite pavilion let on. Welcome to the Golden Serpent. What's your fancy? Tier okay, so maybe you... I wonder if you can maybe only get these from here, but then as soon as you find one, you get it. I don't know. To experience, drop this on a unit to slow it. I'm going to go for this one since we already have a legend at this point. Another one feels like it would just be a problem. One experience gets us our level up. This is kind of like another stall focus. One gets us our level up and then we can go for the 
other angle. Can go for the book after. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that. What synergies you got? Healer. Healing is 33% more effective. Who's the leader? You. So what does slow do, man? I can guess, but... It'd be cooler to know for sure. Eh, you might be approached if we do that. Okay, alright. We'll, we'll bring you in. We'll let you get the boost. Which one is this? Max health mana regen. I, I'm down with it. Get me back further. This is crazy. I'll save that for the boss. Because if, if, we, if we lose this, we don't even lose anything yet. We haven't lost once yet, but if we did, it wouldn't be the end of the world at all. Okay. So we got 13 stacks on the book. Let's speed this up, probably. It's going to be a stall fight. 14. Oh, we got sniped! Oh, no. That's actually bad. That's actually terrible for us. That's actually terrible for us. Uh oh. Overtime. Overtime is active. Bonus damage and attack speed. Okay, overtime looks like it's helping us. Oh, if my other guy was here. Worked out fine, but holy. It really. Yeah, it, it is basically a tanky son of a gun versus a healing son of a gun. Rhyme got blasted. Okay, so there's a level up. Mushrooms. Mm. Tree folk pivot. It's pretty cool that it does just give you the tools you need to pivot. Counts as you having an extra shaman in play. That does let us pivot out of the mushroom. If I want. What would I put it instead? I don't know. And gain a more elo. We'd get the triple mushrooms. I don't know, man. We're all over the place right now. It looks like we could... Here, let's roll once and see what we get in the shop and we'll work from there. Okay, let's roll one more time and see if we get in the shop and work from there. Okay. Final time we're going to roll in the shop and see what we get from there. Stumpy. We would take a damage, but I think that's okay. So that, that would be a scrapper. That really does help with the scrapper angle. I think that... I think that that's the answer. So we'll, we'll do this. We'll put you in. We still have Shaman. We will instantly level up. Which, excuse me? Let's go get the tree folk. Oh my god, there's so much we could do. I'd have to sell something. I think I'm going to maybe sell out of these. Okay. Okay. I like the scrappers, scrapper angle. We have three scrappers. We could have four. We could have four really easily by taking out you or you. But I feel like you're pretty important to my build. But there is the four scrapper synergy. I'll tell you what, let's travel, see if we get offered the uh, the level up thing. The ringing of the bell catches your attention. Roll the dice, you might win double. Don't cheat the dice, there will be trouble. Whenever you roll the unit store, there's a 10% chance to reset its cost. 
We could finally get that, or finally, we could get that big boost. Let's just, let's get the big boost we wanted there. Sounds good. Okay, here's our level up. Two prismatic crystals, which can transform into any component until it's equipped. Two random tier four commons. Wow. In combat rooms, get Spell Slinger, which is when a unit's placed there, it gets minus 40% max mana. I mean, it could be really good for, for Rhyme, obviously. Like, that's a lot of, st like, stacking of the book. Four tier four commons, but, but is it going to line up with the other one? Probably not. So let's get this and see what happens. Beast and Stalker. Oh, it had to be this. It had to be Button. It had to be Button. It just had to be. Okay, so now we can get Rares. So this is always a 1, this is always 2s, this is always 3s. Demon. Go for the demon. I kind of want to... I want like a tier three brawler. Does it exist? Or scrapper, does it exist? It does not exist. There's only tier two scrappers. Interesting. Oh, well, now that we got this huge guy, 2000 health, I mean, he's, he is a tanky lad. It feels like I should try and utilize him. What would that be? That'd be nine. So if I wanted to utilize him, I would go for Amon... Amanito. Which would be going for the Mushroom Synergy. Ay 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 man. Mage War Banner. We can't... We don't have the reroll. Spike Gauntlets, Gloves. Attack Speed can be merged with another. What about the Staff at Attack Speed? What is that? What does that give us? Every three times the wearer attacks, they gain eight, eight attack speed up to eight stacks. I mean, do I have 16 bucks? I have exactly 16. Let's do it. It's silly with it. That should help. And yet I'm still absolutely lost about what I want to do with my squad. Because these were not, I'll admit, these were not what I was hoping to find for my tier fours. I can't deny. They don't make me very happy. But I kind of have to decide. Because if I'm going for this, then I... I could get the four shamans. If I ditched... If I ditched Scrapper, I could have four shaman. Do I care that much about Scrapper? I think I'm not going to care about Scrapper. I think that I have to just not. The universe told me... The universe told me not to care about Scrapper, so I'm going to not care about Scrapper. I'd have to ditch this too, though. It's just so much. It's so much that I have to do. Having three Shamans is actually pretty good still. Because 40% of shamans dealt spell damage charges up a totem. So having three is still really good. This is all. We got. We're all over the place here. Let's see, do I want this? Polymorphs a foe for a time dealing heavy damage afterwards. I will say that move seemed really good when it was done to me. Oops. Got no more slots. More Elo. Gains a potent shield. Each cast adds a new effect. Alright. Man. Hindsight on the... Um, on the mushroom item, of course. But what are you going to do? You can't really... Can't really backtrack on that. Experience. We got no experience up here. Brim upgrades her hammers for the rest of combat. Damage on hit. Jason target damage. We've got Dark Rune stunning a target. Single target. 
scariness vampire chef gigantomancer So you're the boss. Put you back here. You should be pretty darn tanky as well. Try and split up the damage that way a little bit more. But we also want to focus up our our, our damage. Hey, it should be fine. Okay. Send it. They'll spread out accordingly and hopefully still be targeted correctly. And that one's getting targeted a lot more than I would have liked. Oh my god. Look how fast they're attacking. They get to keep on doing their big old blast. Come on. Oh. Okay, your damage better be up there now. You're getting absolutely buffed up. Thank God. Thank God. Okay. I've been working on that for so long. It better be good. Okay. Free roll. Delve into a massive tomb. I just can't be pulled in any more directions right now. You really want me to have Gourmand. I'll tell you what, I will, uh... I'll do it. I'll do it. So you heal up after fights. Oof. El Dorito, hey! <laughs> Calls down extremely dead or calls down extremely deadly stunning meteors. For now, we'll do that. If since it's a tier three, it's gotta be good, right? Like legally. So maybe we go for we go for four shaman, four shaman, two mushroom. Maybe we'll bring in glitter instead of who? No, nothing. I'll have you back a little bit. Vex deals damage over time. We'll grab you. So if we can get another one, we could get the uh, the big upgrade. Gale, there's the final um, scrapper. Prince Arming. Oh my god, of course. Of course, now we get you to make it even more confusing for me. Okay, that helps. Tier 2-ing that helps a lot. I'd like to tier 2 that. Spell power does 260. So double the spell damage. I think, you're, I think it's still better on you to, to upgrade because you attack so fast. Step inside. Stone Serpentine Soldier standing ready to guard the any would-be pillager. What? Proceed and run away. Okay. I'll take it. That's 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 fine. Oh my lord. I, I I just can't. Take it and run or go one more. You can take it and run. I don't really want to get the uh an HP penalty. It's very cool though. But we're just an hour in and I kinda wanna see the next boss. 
There it is. I, fi I figured it was. Unique unit Adelon with Colossal Heart. Breathes ice to, to enemies in a wide line. How wide? Remove you from combat for the first little bit, and then you'll come back and you'll be slower. I'm hoping that this wide line helps. I want you to be the one who's taking the damage. Should be fine. Let's go for a normal speed for this. So he's out of combat for a little bit. That does help. Not a ton, 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 ton. But it lets me get my stack up, but... Oh, no. The piercing. Please, die, 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 die before you... Oh, my God. That hurts. That hurts. No, wait. The piercing line's going to get me again. Okay, good. It doesn't get you. But these guys are stealing my mana. It doesn't get the, the guy who I really care about having. Okay, so we got to really... So, come on. Taunt, for the love of God, taunt. Whew. It was a little bit sketchy. I didn't realize... I, I assumed that they were just going to shoot it straight horizontal to the uh, to the side, but apparently not. It, Which is good. That means you can actually plan around it better. Is th you're, There can't be more in the demo. Are you kidding me? Army size increased. Traveling to the Grand Tournament. Sudden intrusion? Oh, it's the Displeased River. Interesting. Well, I will say I am going to call it here because it is a heftier run than I had anticipated for a demo, but this is very cool. I mean, yeah, if you like games like TFT, if you like games like Underlords, etc., etc. Uh, okay, so we, we're starting here. Holy moly. I mean, I guess I'll look here first. Just to make sure that it's not just going to be like, you go and fight the final boss. Now that you're in the Grand Tournament. Units with an empty equipment slot gain 10% max health and attack damage. We have quite a bit of those. Melee units are immune to crowd control and gain lifesteal. Units with two or greater attack range gain 25% attack speed and starting mana? I mean... That's silly. Just, to, just out of curiosity... It's kind of what I had anticipated. Yeah, we we, we are right here. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be a long time. So, yeah. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today. It's very cool, though. Hell of a long run. Um, so, like, I'm not sure how feasible it would be for me to do a series. But maybe as we got, like, more familiar with it, we'd be able to move through it snappier, quick, more quick. But I really like it. I, I mean, I'm a huge fan of auto chess games. This does it very, very well. And considering it's early along and it's a demo, it, it is doing a lot of things very, very, very well. I don't know. I'm just, I'm impressed by it. I, I would be very excited to play more of it. Let me know in the form of a comment down below if you'd like to see more when there is more to show. Hell, maybe this demo is a beefy enough to play just a lot more of. Who knows? Thank you for watching, though. Thank you. Thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.